I'm gonna be chilling in heaven with a mimosa in hand, looking down at y'all in how <laughs> laughing. Sorry, but like. Um, hey everyone, what's up? I, <laughs> oh, wow. Back, back here again. First of all, I wanna address, I wanna address this. I, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Yeah. Anyways, I'm back for like the fifth time. We're gonna look at a few of your bookshelves. Oh, also I wanted to say I got a new email. So the new email, if you wanna send a photo or video of your bookshelf is yourbookshelfsucks at gmail.com, which is so mean, I'm so sorry. Last night I was contemplating, I was like, should I make it that or should I not? Or like, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Don't, re don't, re don't, it's, yeah. Send the photos to that email from now on, please. Thank you. Let's get started. Also, I want to say, I get a lot of comments on these videos being like, this, this should be called like, judging the things around the bookshelf, not the bookshelf itself. Um. What? Obviously, I'm going to talk about the things that are on the bookshelf besides the books. It's about the aesthetic. It's about the vibe. This is about like interior design. Look at my bedroom. Look how it's set up. I know what I'm doing. If you really want to take that literal, I, bitch, I'd be judging the wood. Like you want me to look at the wood and say, mm, that's nice oak. Damn. Screen record. Find quick time. Oh, Siri, get the fuck out of here. I don't know how to respond to that. You leave. Anyways. God. So this is Angel and she is from New Zealand. Kia ora, kia ora. I'm very cultural. Last time I did this, I was speaking Russian. Privet ganuchi asuka. And this is just coming from the top of the head. Like I don't Google this shit, I just know it. I'm like, I don't know. Okay, so this looks like your beautiful mother. Or maybe that's you. I think it's your mom though. She's cool. This is confusing to me. Is this like a statue? Um. And then I really wish that you would have turned this light on here. Cause I think that those, these balls, I, I assume they light up. If they didn't, that would be really weird. So I don't know, like clearly you're not putting too much effort into this photo you're taking right now. Like this is probably like the biggest thing you've ever been a part of. And I'm just saying like, why are you not turning that light on? <laughs> and then we got to look at your backyard as well. Huh. Hmm. All right. What are you reading right now? Girl in Pieces. By Kathleen Glasgow. Oh. I love that Ed Sheeran song. Girl, girl in Glasgow. Glasgow girl. He played the fiddle in an Irish band. You know the one. Okay, let's look at your top shelf. Doom. Hmm? What? Is that Doom? No. No, I got no clue what that is. Is that John Hanks Green? What is, what is the one? John Green? Or is it Hank Green? I don't know. I have stolen. I recently got rid of that book. I had that book for some reason. So it's sex, sex trafficking, a, a young girl, I'm pretty sure. Never read it. And then just yesterday, actually, I donated it to a bin. Do y'all ever donate books to like, I don't know. Do you have that in your country, in my country? In Canada, we have big bins in random pocket parking lots. You just throw a whole bunch of books in there that you don't want anymore. I almost donated, <laughs> I very nearly put Charles Bukowski in there, which I think would have been really bad because I don't know where those books go, maybe to like an orphanage. I would never forgive myself if I got a little orphan reading Charles Bukowski, Love is a Dog from Hell, talking about his penis and balls in iambic pentameter or whatever the hell. He, I, I don't even think he follows any, uh, he sucks. That's the type of thing that would like fester within me the same way that right now what I'm struggling with is the thought that I sold a jacket on Depop a while ago and um, I've realized I didn't check the pockets. 
and I'm like freaking the fuck out because I don't know what was in the pockets. Like it's not about like me losing something, it's about like what if they open it up and it's got like a shitty diaper in it. Like it, there could be anything. Ooh, big little lies, big little lies. I have not read that, but I'm like thinking about it because like I, I, recently I've just been thinking about the show so much. That show is so great. Big Little Lies, HBO. Ah! I'm having this like war within my mind. Do I rewatch the show or do I read the book? Ah! This is interesting. Um, okay. I don't know anything here, except for obviously the Sarah J Mass books. I'm about to read this blue one for- Round two of the fantasy book tournament series of the world. And I'm very excited. <laughs> Bottom shelf, that's crazy. <laughs> She did not write four books about after and then do- Is that like a prequel before? I kind of need to know what the fuck before is about because that's funny. After and then you write a prequel or like, I don't know what that is. It's called before. She is so creative. Overall, I'm gonna give your bookshelf a like a 6 out of 10. It's good. Okay, this is from es Estraida. I don't think it's Estralida. Estraida. That's a very cool name. This bookshelf, however. <laughs> so, okay. Hello Kitty, all right. This is like Hello Kitty if Hello Kitty was Lydia Tarr. Why has it got like a black Death Re Reaper suit on? It looks like up here you have a lot of nonfiction books. The only one that I've read is The Wretched of the Earth. But then it goes into like other fiction okay this second shelf is super um yeah like, yeah oh they're dvds when i first saw this i fully thought that this was timothy chalamet and i was like oh no we got a stand but i think it's a friend and i think you got a few of your friends here that you just kind of took random for these are like you're like flash banging your friends at random moments to get some candid pics because like what is he doing i don't know what he's up to it looks like he's like sorting through some files in a banquet hall cute it's cute the funko pop i don't like though if you've watched Throughout this series, I'm currently waging a war on Funko Pops. Okay, you got a photo of my ninth uncle, William Shakespeare. Have I talked? I don't think I've talked about this at all. I recently found out that William Shakespeare is like my ninth uncle or something. I don't see, like, what does that have to do with me in my life? I'm not too sure. Like, sure, it's a little bit interesting. But like, what does that have to do with me? I'm here now and he is dead, d -d 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 dead. Uh, but also, I just don't think I believe in that shit. Like, I don't believe that, how do they know? Like, I don't think there's science or like a database big enough to input like a little tube of spit and see everybody's family tree line. And it's so funny how whenever people do that, they're always like, <gasps> Oh my God, I'm related to, um, like, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, don't you find it funny how like, whenever somebody does one of those things, like, I don't know, ancestry.com, it's never like, oh, okay. I'm related to Anne Beth Sue from Virginia, who was alive from 1302 to 13, like 20, because she died of tuberculosis at 12. It's always like, <gasps> Oh my God, Julius Caesar is literally my grandfather right now. Like my great, 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 J Julius fucking Caesar, y'all, who burnt down the library of Alexandra. Why is that literally my grandfather right now? The Hell of Kitty paraphernalia is... That's all I'm gonna say. I think this one's cute. But this is witchcraft. I, that's dark energy that you're bringing into your home. Honestly, I am obsessed with people who are like, in 2023 scared of witches like the most recent one i think was the hocus pocus movie the new hocus pocus movie people were freaking the fuck out about that playing in their house thinking their house is gonna fill up with dark magic like be for for fucking real right now Oof, damn speaking of celebrities who are long dead this napoleon book they said that it's for school and they were like don't judge me on it first of all i'll be completely honest i 
I don't know, like I know, is Napoleon a good guy or a bad guy? I don't know. Didn't he do something in the French Revolution? But he, I, I think that he was like, hella like, like he was murdering people like crazy, right? But I see that and I just think like, you're interested in learning about history. And I think that's beautiful. But you also have a few other books. You've got a huge book written by Charles Bukowski, who I do not like. Yeah, Latin America. Oh, Plato. Okay, I hate philosophy. I think it's so dumb. Oh, why did I not see this until now? The fact that your bookshelf is covering your window. It's like covering like 75% of your window. This is not a fire hazard. This is the fire hazard. Like, <laughs> I was gonna give your bookshelf like a six out of 10, but I think we're gonna give it a four out of 10 for endangering your life. Please do something about that. Cause you never know when you're gonna have to jump out your window in, in fear. Because when I was young, when I was younger, I remember that was like a true real fear in my brain. Cause my bedroom was on the second floor. I always thought about that. Cause my mom was like a paranoid, very, very anxious woman. And she instilled a lot of fears within me. But one of them, which I'm remembering now, is that if there's a fire, I am jumping out of that window onto the concrete. <laughs> I think it was so ingrained in me that I wouldn't even like try the door. Even if it was like a small fire, like in the basement, bitch, I am opening that window and jumping out. <laughs> and I would always think about my legs breaking. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm obsessed with this vibe. This is Carolina and they said that they're a Polish girl studying dentistry in Italy. <laughs> That's the next Sally Rooney book. All right, top shelf, let's see. Oh, so you're into art, I like that. You have Monet, Van Gogh, you've got Colleen Hoover, Ver Verity, and November 9, which I've heard is like, it's like her worst book. All the Light We Cannot See, I'm a big fan. Whoa, this must be Polish. Nish no shakos lekos biatu. By Milan Kundera, I love that one. I read that one in school, actually. <laughs> you have a lot of really great books. It's like a really good mix of like classics and currents and tons of different genres. I feel like there's some things in this bottom shelf. That looks like a like a makeup bag. Sure you got a mirror. Is. You could like put that somewhere else. Like this would be a 10 out of 10, but that bottom shelf, it needs a little bit of work, but I like how everything is like not super neat, but it's all like put together really well. The book selection is like great. So I'm gonna give it like a nine, a nine, a, a, a nine out of 10. Sorry, I'm falling asleep, I think. Okay, so this is Kluju, 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 oh, Claudia. <laughs> and they said, I hope you like yellow as much as I did when I bought it. Okay, first of all, look at this bookshelf. That is like what happened with that stupid bedside table. I do really like this though. The yellow, definitely yes, is a lot. It is a lot, but like, it's not horrible. Here we've got a lot of books. Yeah, wow. A lot of books that I don't think are English. This here, this first box. Oh, I see a Donatar, Donatar, but I don't know what that title is. This is perplexing. 1984, William Shakespeare, my uncle, Unky, Unky, that's my gay uncle. Did anybody else's English teacher in high school tell him that Shakespeare was gay? Because I recently Googled that theory and I couldn't find nothing about that. I think it was my English teacher trying to be like, you guys like, gay people are fine. And like, look, even William Shakespeare might have been gay, maybe. <laughs> he was teaching inclusivity, even if it was a lie. <laughs> okay, Jailer Jenkins Reed, cool, love that. Franny and Zoe, slay. Okay, Leo Tolstoy, that's fucking huge. Huge Anna Karenina. Is that, that looks like Laura Dern. I think that this is Game of Thrones, but it not might not be. I'll give your bookshelf like a 7.5 out of 10. I enjoy it. It's a good vibe. It's very bright and colorful. So this is Brooke, and clearly we have a little bit of, um... <laughs> an infatuation with... Why do I think that saying a doll is gonna be offensive? Like, why do I feel that? Cause I feel like this is the type of thing like this, also like Funko Pops, that, like that's the type of thing where I feel like you would call them a doll and a Funko Pop enthusiast would be like, they're not dolls. <laughs> this is like Funko Pop galore. This is the Funko Pop Armageddon. I'm scared. I'm fearful of my life. I don't see any books that I'm particularly like interested in talking about. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say, Ooh, four out of ten. 
I just hate Funko Pops. I think I'm gonna do a speed round. I'm gonna do a speed round. Is that okay to do, if I do a speed round? Okay, this is Trudy, which is a very cool, interesting name that I feel like is for old people. Trudy is a very old person name or very like, it's a type of name that they would make fun of in Victorious. I like this a lot. I like the like stacked boxes. It's very like cartoonish, re retro AF. Like <laughs> the books, yeah, I'm seeing a lot that I don't like, but I'm also seeing a lot that I really enjoy. Like everything in the Celeste Ang book. I forget what it's called. Yeah, like I'm gonna give this like a eight out of 10. I don't like the color of your wall. It's too dark. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? All right. So this is Audrey and they sent three photos. I'm not even gonna look at the books. Wow, this is a historian. This is a person who was putting in work. This is an academic. Oh, this is like an old person bookshelf. Like this is like Dumbledore bookshelf. There's another photo as well. This looks like it's above your bed. First of all, I have to say, I'm so sorry. Who the fuck painted your, like who chose that color? Do you record like green screen stock footage videos? <laughs> I really like your bed though. I like this wood. It's really interesting. Okay, this is a very interesting person. And you got another bookshelf here too. Wow. 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 So you got some like ecology books. They look like textbooks. Is this Robin Wall Kimmerer? No, it's Audrey. I really like this vibe. Like, I do really like it. It's super nostalgic and like homey. Like, I know it smells like musty as fuck in there. I know it smells like paper and books. And pee, you got cats. You got cats and they are pissing and it smells like cat piss. Okay, this is like a 10 out of 10. Yeah. yeah. Because the thing is like, that's me. This is me in like 60 years. Okay, this is Iris. Iris, I'm gonna give you like... Oh, all right. Like a seven out of 10. It's very homey. <gasps> wow. Okay, you know that this dog is gonna... Yeah, you know what you were doing. I love this color. It's like a teal chartreuse. What is chart? It's not chartreuse. The fuck? I like this a lot. Oh, I really do actually. Oh no! Uh, you were so close. Not the fungal trap. No! I was gonna give it like a nine point, but I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 because that Funko Pop, dude, you know, like, no, 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 no. I like the selection of books you have though a lot. Okay, last one, last one, last one. Um, All right, so yeah, let's quickly just go through this. First of all, the cardboard cutout of the anime boy. I don't know if that's anime. I don't know what that is, but it is freaking me the fuck out. Oh God, this is a horrible suit. This like Tumblr 2014 rose. Print aesthetic was criminal. And like bringing that back, I've heard it's kind of coming back. Get a grip. Not you, not like not you, but like the world. If that horrible rose print and people start getting like rose tattoos again, it's over. I've lost hope in humanity. The fucking Funko Pops everywhere, obviously. Like, what the Funko Pop? <sighs> the books you've got here, yeah. All right, look very color-coded, rainbow one, purple, blue, whites, and black, blacks. Yep, okay, all right, I got you, I see you. I know who you are. I know the type of person you are. Like, a three, year, three and a half out of 10. I'm gonna give this one. And with that, we're done. I'm done, we're done. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Oh, I should, wait. I also should say here, because I feel like I never do, I don't think I ever have. <laughs> Since it's the first video of June, I believe, is it? I don't know. I th we're relatively early in June. I wanna say, join my book club, Priority of Sean, link in description. It's not a secret society, it's not a cult. Like people saying that are insane. You're actually wild and crazy. Recently I started a discord, which I said I was gonna figure out yesterday, but I didn't. So I will, by the time this is out and you join it, I will have fixed it. But we're reading Trust by Hernan Diaz. So if you want to read it with us, it's in the link is in the description down below. And bye, see ya, bye. Mm -hmm.
and also make sure to head over to my Instagram and comment this emoji on my recent Instagram picture for the chance to get a shout out and win an iPad.